In this video, I'm showing you how to remove Yahoo search from Google Chrome and some fixes for this as well if it keeps happening. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. I really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end to the full steps and let's go and jump into it. The first step we're going to do is to try and change the default search engine from within the Chrome settings and if that doesn't work I'll go and show you some fixes. So to go and change the default search engine all you need to do is come to the top right so we've got these three dots here and come down and go and click on settings. Then all you want to do is come onto the left hand side where it says search engine just here. If you can't see it don't worry just go up to search settings and go and type in search engine there. Go and click on it and then all you want to do is go and look for search engine use the address bar. Go and change that to Google as you can see mine's already selected but yours may be on Yahoo. However if you go and change it back to Google and then it goes and reverts back to Yahoo again then here is the next fix. All you want to do is go and click on the puzzle piece in the top right of Chrome where it says extensions. Click here and you want to go and click manage extensions. Here you want to go and make sure you remove any extension you don't recognize adding or which doesn't look trustworthy or you just don't recognize in general. So to do that all you need to do is go and click on remove just like so and if you believe it's malicious make sure you go and take report abuse just like so and then go and click remove. However personally that isn't the case for me but you may have had a malicious extension which was going and changing your default search engine to Yahoo. However if that still doesn't work then all you want to do is come back to your Chrome settings and all you need to do is come down to advanced just down here. Once you're in advanced go and click on reset and clean up just here and then all you want to do is go and click on clean up computer just like so. Now all you want to do is go and click on fine just like so and what this does is, is Chrome basically acts as an antivirus and it's going to check your computer for any harmful software so that includes stuff like uh, viruses and anything which could be going and changing your default search engine to Yahoo so it's definitely worth running this to just go and give your computer a good search. So this can take around 10 minutes so all you need to do is wait and then go and see what the result is and if it says anything is harmful make sure you go and fully remove it. And then once you run that it's definitely worth going back to reset and clean up and then you want to go to restore settings to the original defaults click here and all you want to do is go and click on reset settings you can go and turn that off if you'd like and what this is going to do is it's going to go and reset chrome settings and all chrome shortcuts it's going to disable all the extensions and delete cookies and other temporary site data so this is just going to basically make sure that chrome is fully back to default and hopefully that's going to go and fix your who being changed your default search browser and after you've done that, it's definitely worth going and running an antivirus software on your computer. If you have your own, go and run that. However, if you don't, we can go and use Windows Defender. So all you want to do is come to the bottom left of Windows and go and click on the search icon just like so. And you want to go and search for Windows Security. It's going to have a defense shield on it just like so and go and click on it. You need to go and click on Virus and Threat Protection just here. And as you can see, I actually use Bitdefender so it's not letting me fully access it. But usually there's going to be a Scan Now button and you can go and change what the scan is. So you can do a really in-depth one or just a really quick one but make sure you do a good in-depth one to make sure it detects any virus which may be on your computer. I hope this video does remove your Who search from Chrome. If it did please go down below and consider leaving a like, subscribe for more content just like this. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.